Emily Cutchins Antler, the buttery babe, coming to you today from my kitchen. You know what? It's, oh, I can't even talk today. So excited. The 42 inches of snow is starting to melt, which means that I'm ready for snack time for dinner once again. Yay, spring snack time. Today, we are going to make muhamara. Muhamara. Don't ask me to spell it. Ain't going to happen. What you should know is this is a delicious dip made out of roasted red peppers, walnuts, and other yummy things. Let's take a look at the ingredients, shall we? In this jar is roasted red peppers. So it's a 12 ounce jar, which will make us about eight, seven to eight ounces of drained. If you have your own red peppers, you could uh, do them under the broiler on a burner, roast it yourself, but I always keep a jar of roasted red peppers. These are sweet, they're not spicy. I have four cloves of garlic, three quarters of a cup of extra virgin olive oil, Aleppo peppers. Um, I understand you totally will not have these, most of you. You could use a little bit of Hungarian spicy paprika or just a pinch of cayenne instead. Half a cup of walnuts, half a cup of breadcrumbs. You could do, you need one cup total. It could be all walnuts or all breadcrumbs, depending on your diet and what's in the house. I'm doing half and half. And the other fun ingredient is pomegranate molasses. And this is literally pomegranate juice that's been cooked, cooked down and down and down till it's like molasses. So it's thick and sticky and tart and delicious. If you don't have it, um, just put in a little pinch, like two teaspoons of lemon juice and a pinch of sugar and it'll be close enough. Because guess what? You're cooking for yourself. I am not there to yell at you or to go through your pantry and tell you need more fun things. Because God knows my pantry is natural. So, here we go. Oh, we're also going to serve it with some yummy, yummy pita chips. We're going to make this in the food processor. I was very brave and put all the little bowls together so we have a small one on the top. I'm hoping it works. Don't ask me to, do not ask me to uh, demo how to do it. So, not going to happen. We are going to just take these out. Actually, I'm going to go drain it. If you want to stay there, I'm just going to drain it in the sink. It'll be more efficient. And it makes a noise. You want to give it a shake when you're draining it so you get all of the water out. Okay, so in go our red peppers. Oh, and a little water that I didn't drain out, but that's okay. See how nice those are? They're beautiful. And in with that, we're going to put in our garlic, the walnuts, and the breadcrumbs. Two pinches of salt. And of course, a few cracks for my trusty pepper mill. Yay. And then we're going to put in a little shaky shake of our Aleppo pepper. It's just about half a teaspoon, so like that much. And again, you can replace, you could leave it out. You could replace it with a little cayenne or Hungarian pepper. I'm gonna give this a couple of zhuzhs to get it going, and then we'll add in the other goodies. And here we are, wishful thinking that I put it together correctly. Let's find out. It's not all the way pureed yet, but we want to scrape it and make sure that the stuff is in there um, so that it can keep going and working. And as long as I've got the top open, I'm going to put in two teaspoons of the pomegranate molasses. Again, if you don't have it, don't worry. Just put in a little bit of lemon juice and a pinch of sugar. And I don't know if I can get two teaspoons out because it's so thick and luscious and delicious, but we're going to try. Give it the old 57 smackdown. All right, we'll get more out later. Maybe, maybe not. Now we're gonna run it again so it gets mostly smooth and then we're gonna drizzle in our olive oil. Again, there we go. Click. So now, with it running, we're gonna drizzle that in. I'm gonna save a 
little bit and garnish the top. And then just let it go. It's going to get smooth and homogenized and delicious. Be ready with your spatula when you open it because it's going to have splattered a little bit and you want to get all that stuff off the top so it doesn't go all over your kitchen. And then just take a look and see if it's the chunkiness you like. I like a few little chunks left. If you want it super smooth, keep, keep the zhuzhing. Looks beautiful. Uh, you should probably also, when you make it, drain your bell peppers. Beforehand, I wanted you guys to see the jar, so I didn't. Now, let's see if I can get the bowl out. Okay, the bowl is out. That was exciting. So now we're going to pour it into a prettier bowl for serving. See, it's beautiful color from those roasted red peppers. And it smells phenomenal. We're going to get that all out. And if you want, you can Drizzle a little bit of olive oil on the top. Just a little bit. And then we're going to enjoy it with a pita chip. I'm Emily Cutchins Adler, the Buttery Bay. Once again, coming to you from my kitchen. Please be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, and of course, my website, www.butterybay.com.